There's a grave threat to our nation, a threat that's not foreign, but domestic, the threat of fascism here at home. We've got to defend the system of constitutional democracy that exists against fascist coups and violent insurrections. But first, let's take a step back in time, more than 200 years ago, when George Washington decided to do something I've heard of. He voluntarily stepped down from power. That act set forth a precedent for every president who followed the peaceful transfer of power. For more than 200 years, this essential tradition continued. On January 6, 2021, this tradition of peace was nearly shattered. And in an unprecedented and outrageous display, Donald Trump desperately tried to cling to power. Despite the fact that he lost the election by more than 7 million votes, he tried to push state legislators to appoint their own electors who would vote against the people's will. He called the Secretary of State in Georgia and said, I just want to find 11,780 votes. He attempted to force the vice president not to certify the election results, including my home state of Wisconsin. When these efforts failed, he did the unthinkable. He incited a mob to terrorize the Capitol. They wanted to kill members of Congress. They wanted to hang Mike Pence. A gallow and noose were erected in front of the Capitol. January 6th was a blatant assault against the heart of American democracy. The central cause of January 6th was former President Donald Trump. Thankfully, the insurrection failed, but the big lie persists. It's a simple formula. Repeat a lie enough times no matter how absurd and people will begin to believe it. Despite being debunked in court more than 60 times, a third of Americans believe the big lie that the 2020 election was stolen. We're witnessing a deliberate attempt to erode our democratic institutions and American democracy, fascism, plain and simple. If you don't have a peaceful transfer of power based on elections, then you do have dictators and thugs and autocrats simply seizing the presidency, and that's exactly what Donald Trump wanted to do. There's nothing more American than rejecting fascism and defending democracy. It's not what our founders intended and not what our children deserve.